So in our video, how inverter driven compressors work, George and some letters and numbers, is the compressor motor basically a three phase AC motor with a variable frequency drive or is it a BLDC permanent magnet motor which also needs a three phase voltage to run? Okay, so is it basically an AC motor with a VFD or is it a brushless DC motor? Well, that's a good question. I'm sure that there are, um, I know that there are gonna be differences between you know how you talk about either one, uh, but as far as the brushless digitally commutated motor versus this variable frequency drive driven um, three phase motor, they're both permanent magnet motors. You got permanent magnets in the um, in the you know in the uh, compressors just like we do in our VLDC uh, fan motors, for example. Um, and we are sending a three phase signal, uh, but it's also an inverted duty rated motor. Uh, so there's going to be some thicker jacketing, that kind of thing on the windings, uh, because you are dealing with, uh, in effect, you know, you are dealing with some DC voltage. In terms of the technician, not really much of a difference here. <laughs> you know, whether it's a VFD driven motor, an inverter driven motor, a BLDC, or because um, you know, the, uh, just just a, as a reminder, the DC. If I'm if I, I'm 99% sure the DC and BLDC mean digitally commutated, not direct current. Uh, I might have to go check that out. You know, I, mean, I guess no, I, can I think do, you're. I you think know. you're correct. <laughs> but um, but the realistically though, the motors in these are the inverter driver is creating a three phase sine wave using the IGBTs on the inverter driver. They work in unison. I have a video about that that talks about how those IGBTs complete the circuit through the three phase wind. So it's absolutely creating its own, its own three phase signal if you look through on in a sine wave. But I suppose either way, I mean, from a troubleshooting standpoint and all that, it's effectively the same. What we normally, as far as the difference between our motors, we'll, we'll refer to it as a three wire motor or a five wire motor. Three wire motor gets its signal, voltage, and all that directly from the board, it gets that AC sine wave from the board. That's it. Not much to that motor at all, besides the fact you've got three pins and that's it. Right, five wire fan motor is a little bit different. You are still providing the DC voltage straight to that motor, and maybe that's just you know kind of like the difference just between VLDC versus ECM. You are sending 310 volts DC, for example, on that five wire, but you're also sending a signal and you're getting a signal back. So there's a portion of the board instead of having one big inverter board with all that stuff on it, you've got half of that on the motor itself. So in a lot of ways, it's just like an ECM. So right. like the uh, little wall mount fan motor that you have, just like an ECM in that regard. The board itself that's on that, instead of being mounted on the back, is inside the housing. You crack it open by accident, hopefully it's not a new motor. <laughs> you can see inside, you've got a board for that. You've got three wires that go to the motor itself. Same type of thing, you're just doing it two different ways.